controlled magnetic field through EEGR stuff, like whatever that thing is. Different uh, part of which is limbic, by the way, this reptilian brain, RB is here. And this limbic system is this, LS, and this is the, the whole upper area, which is the majority part, which is the cognitive area, which is this, neocortex, let's see. So, if you apply certain uh, uh, impulses, basically through magnetic in different part of the brain, especially this interesting emotional engine, this limbic system, it, uh, it has been seen in the patients that patients are saying, not patients, the, the subjects, I am talking with God. I know, uh, I never did, didn't like uh, this damn blue color in my life, but I don't like now. So, actually, you know, there is, a, there is a scientific application of this thing that you can cure certain emotional problem, which is something called uh, part of the neuropsychology and uh, behavioral problems, which you normally push to asylum or some stuff like that. You can, you, can, you can actually solve certain problems by actually actuating and perpetuating. There's a two part actuating, but the, the result of the actuation can actually dissipate very quickly. So, as the shock, but magnetic shock, chala gaya. But actuating and perpetuating it, you can actually solve certain emotional problems uh, of the, uh, which this emotional problem may not be a disease. It may be a dysfunction of kind of uh, emotional dysfunction. You know, a, a guy doesn't like, uh, let's for example, uh, going to bar, for example. So, I mean, just a kind of example. So we, I mean, whatever that you know, that social dysfunction, that this this quotient, uh, social quotient that we can illustrate, that social thing, we can actually you can actually manipulate. But it raises a lot of questions that who will manipulate. But at least you know discoveries are neutral, you know, generally. So what is magnetic wave? What is the effect of that? This is the So we know what kind of a thing, but. Yield what is that? So, let's say we know what is to be applied. Where to press? No. Which portion you have to press? So, the funny part is there is no there is no singular area which controls. These are all regions if you see. I have to press the magnetic field apply or the other thing. No. You need some kind of a pattern. If you apply it, so, you will apply it. So, when you do it, at the same time, you will also monitor it normally. You monitor the patient's condition. So, neuro-wise... So, this is dependent on each emotional engine. That's not globally given. If you have any problems, you will apply it. No, you will apply it. I don't understand the question. No, you apply it, you observe the results and then modify the... No, so, I mean... If you see the, the scientific instrument, uh, normally what happens is that if you see any, let's say, EEG machine, I mean, EEG is basically a reader. It doesn't write anything out, out there. But anything, for example, Intel chip chip recently, which basically gets into the brain and do something. So over there, there has to be a sophisticated monitoring system, which actually monitors the, uh, basically, brain works in, in pulses, right? Neurocoding, so both there, right? It's basically a different form of coding, but actually it's, can we convert it to any? Uh, any so this, this reader feedbacks into that, yes. that thing? Yes, yeah, it has to be there. So there has to be a monitoring strategy. Ki if I'm giving this <coughs> impulse, what is the what is the uh, the, the manifestation of this impulse? And uh, the, some feedback like has to be there just to, and it does in majority cases. It, it is a multi-tutor monitor. We basically electric field monitor, karte hai, magnetic field monitor, karte hai, uh, PE, whatever, and other responses like heartbeat, <coughs> KOA, and all those things. They have a complex monitoring and then basically they apply it generally. But I mean, 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 So that, this thing cannot do automatically. I mean, what will you read? How do you know that thing that they think? No, automatic, I mean, if you see, uh, so you will ask that person. Today, if you have got a liver dysfunction, operation, you will go. Robotic, robot, robot, robot operation, hota, but actually there is a, a, a life surgeon has to be there. No patient, automatic, Surgery can't go. I mean, let's say you are... There has to be a neurosurgeon there. There has to be a neurosurgeon there. Who actually, basically, it all based on the neurofeedback that patient is giving. Which one more tuned on that. Because the patient knows, because... So you interactively ask the patient... Interactively. And what happens, you know, there is something called split vein surgery. When what happens is that the patient is awake while his brain is operating. Because the brain itself, you guys all know, I guess, the brain itself doesn't have any... Uh, what do you call it? A sensory thing. So if you do a split bit operation, the patient actually doesn't feel anything. So there is 
there are some some uh, you know complex tumor or other uh, you know disorder cases. Surgeons open the patient's brain, keep the patient no anesthesia, keep the patient awake, do the surgery because at the time of surgery, when they're doing surgery, they need to ask the patient, they need to check his function. Okay, उसका paralysis हो गया पार, तो ठीक है मैं tumor इतना ज़्यादा नहीं कटा, थोड़ा कटा. मतलब the robotic surgery even they cannot do that. The patient feedback is actually important in neuro because the because is the physical understanding the degree of understanding you guys you have and regarding the complexity the patient's feedback actually act as a help i mean so patient i mean in, in general for any operation is it i mean feedback is very important patient kya bolta hai you you can have a history uh, you know <coughs> documented ki this particular disease or have this history but at the same time patient this particular case will say ki bhai i had this problem no i'm not get cured thoda reh gaya hai So a fuzzy feedback right like that i have a question please why pink why not light yellow or white no so light yellow good question so light yellow i tell you so and even the i mean if you see this, this vision has a multimodal so, so, so even the color perception pink to baad mein aaya na color perception itself is very complex so what happens we know the rgb spectrum right generally with the normal the rgb spectrum right and why is also there the human brain actually in very fuzzy way they know redness alert high alert green signal is okay blue you know likeliness yellow is neutral so generally yellow if you see the vibrio spectrum right so yellow comes in between electromagnetic also so yellow has a bit very you know basically it's uh, i got is basically neutral in the, in, a, in the mid range a mid range color cannot be a liking color just to get it has to be biased so either is biased towards the the red spectrum red side or it it's biased to violet or pink side in general it, it cannot be neutral so likeliness always biased biased matlab tends it cannot be neutral matlab you cannot like neutral right i don't like neutral uh, Light yellow is not light color. Light yellow is light color, but it comes. Light blue is not light color. Yeah, I'm blue. Ki under variation ho sakta hai. You, I like you know this particular denim shirt. Blue. Because pink is a very, very new color. It's a very artificial color. I mean, you don't find pink in it. No, you do. I mean, you name it. I mean, strawberry, strawberry. Blue, I would say, is very. No, strawberry. For example, green is a very. No, but in different times, strawberry is also very pink color. Actually, any orange.